So we're on our way to the gym again seems to be the story of our lives at the moment we are heading over to do a gym session on our own so as you guys know Luke our personal trainer trains us on Mondays and Fridays on Wednesdays he tells us what to do but he's not physically with us so my muscles have been so sore ever since we started like I just consistently I'm just constantly tired my body is just so tired and it's because I'm just not used to this so there's this whole phase that you have to go through of kind of like getting into it and you know coming out the other end where you then start feeling energized after gym sessions I'm not there yet obviously but yeah so until then well for a little while until like the soreness kind of like uh, gets a bit better Lucas said for me to go on the stationary bike on Wednesdays so I was there I was on the stationary bike last Wednesday from I can't remember if I told you so yeah I'm, it's Wednesday again I'm on the bike again today this time I haven't forgotten my headphones I bought them but now just as I'm talking I'm wondering if I charge them but hopefully they'll be okay yeah it's been good I really really am I'm gonna just drop this low a bit because my arms are hurting and I cannot afford to like tired about anymore it's been really good I can't say that I feel better yet because obviously we're going through that whole stage of our like our body getting used to it like the body's getting used to it the soreness but equally this is and I think this is something Bobby said yesterday like this is probably the stage where people give up and I really don't do that so I'm gonna stick with it I'm just looking I'm actually really excited to come out the other end when I start feeling energized and I can start feeling stronger. Monday just gone, he did a full body workout with us. So it was like, it was pretty intense. It was like um, however many workouts, like working different muscle groups immediately, like one after the other. So I don't know what you call it, like is it circuit training, circuit training. And oh my God, immediately after I was actually okay. So I was thinking, okay, this isn't that bad. And then hour by hour, I started to feel really like even laughing hurts at the moment because my abs are really really hurting like I laugh and then I'm like oh, oh my gosh and then if we're driving if like you go over a hump or something it's like awful so basically I just want to lay somewhere and just not move I'll tell you what I need I would love to just be sitting on a beach right now with the sun which is like soothing my muscles <laughs> that's what I feel like so yeah, it has been um, tiring, but it's been good. I'm glad that we've kind of like got on this whole journey. And, I'm, and I, I think because I'm kind of putting it on my vlog and I'm, I'm sharing it with you guys, it also kind of 
pushes me to also stick with it as well you know because i want to be able to show you that you know what can come of it and also for me it's that kind of like commitment of not just committing to a pt and having him as a personal trainer and knowing that we've got to go and see him every so like you know a few times a week it's also the commitment to you guys knowing that i put a vlog up and every time i'm going to share with you what my journey has been so far so i feel like there's just like a double commitment there and it helps and it's been really nice kind of hearing from you guys some of you guys have been leaving your messages you know your comments saying you know what it was like for you when you first got into you know working out at the gym weightlifting and some of you you know have had issues in terms of like your back and things like that so it's been really interesting hearing from you as well like how it was for you and some of your kind of feedback and suggestions as well like i really appreciate all that yeah did any of you guys go out and get my brush set so they're selling out they're doing really well and I'm really, really pleased, but I hope you managed to get yourself a Sigma brush set, which was kind of curated by me. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to hear like the feedback and everything from everyone. Oh, what have we got today? Oh, let me, you've probably already seen what's happened over the last like day or so. So we had brunch with Penin and Said, and we went for, a little saturday brunch with them because it was bobby's birthday we did that that was really fun and the food was delicious as always because we went to roca we went to the mall did a few bits it was really nice and you know what actually it was at, you can tell like our pt he was a bit like okay you know you're going for brunch and when we told him we're going for brunch he just assumed it's going to be like brunch a really heavy brunch and like just heavy and loads of carbs and everything but we actually we chose this place because we knew that it wasn't going to be so bad so it's basically seafood so it's just really high protein brunch and we were all really good so that was good and what else have we got coming up so after the gym we are heading to kaya skin clinic i've got my botox appointment so i'm going for that before that we'll probably i think we'll have a little bit of time so we'll go we'll grab lunch and then we'll head to Kaya so I can get my Botox treatment done, which I'm really excited about. And then for the rest of the day, I think I'm just kind of like editing at home, to be honest, and just relaxing. I just don't want to move. I want to sit somewhere and not move. Let's uh, see how the rest of the day goes. We're done with that session so that was a good session i had to go on the bike again uh, i think i already mentioned that i did <laughs> i had to go to the bike but someone was on the bike that i usually go on see do you guys have this does anyone else have this like obviously if you're not like used to going to the gym all the time sometimes it can be a little bit kind of intimidating and you know when you don't know how to use certain machines this was just a bike there's like two bikes which are the same and i've used that before so i'm fine with using that then there's these other two bikes next to it which look completely different but it's still a bike i haven't been on them there's no like computer thing at the top to tell you anything you know and then there's the other fan bike which has you know the like things you move the bike was taken the one that i usually use and then the one next to it which was exactly the same it kept saying error on the screen and i was like great this would only happen to me and then i thought okay let me go on the others i went on the fan bike but that's like really hard right that's like what luke got us to do for 30 seconds in between strength training so it's really difficult so i was like oh my god i can't do this for 60 minutes and then bobby came over and he was like what are you doing i was like the bike's not available and he was like just go on the spin bike because that's going to completely tire you out so i was like okay so i went on the spin bike but there's literally no resistance on that at all so i just felt like my legs were just spinning for the sake of it so it was a bit kind of like all over the place and but this is what happens isn't it you know when you're like not used to using certain equipment i then basically the guy got off 
bike and I was like, let me just let him go. And then I got into that bike. So I did about 25 minutes on my normal bike and the rest was all kind of like a bit of here and there on different bikes. So that's basically how my session went. And then Luke turned up. I just felt like I had to like give him, even though he wasn't there, like he came over to see how I was. And because I was on, I was only on that bike for like 25 minutes, I think. So he could see the dial and it said 25 minutes when he came over. And when I got off, I kept thinking, I kept getting paranoid thinking, does he think that I've only done 25 minutes on the bike? So then I messaged in the group and I was like, oh, by the way, there was him this whole explanation. <laughs> by the way, the bike wasn't available, but I did do some stuff beforehand. It's like, it's pretty good though, because you feel like you've got like a teacher, you know? So you're like, hold on, I just want to let you know that I did actually do my work. Because I'm sure he comes across people who he trains, which, you know, who they like say they're doing things and then they're not really doing it. And I don't want to be that person. I'm not that person. So I don't want him to think that. So I guess that's why I was trying to like kind of, you know, justify myself. But anyway, yeah, so that was that. Now we're just going to head over, grab some lunch and carry on with the day. But it's, I'm very tired the moment because we're going through this whole stage of like breaking into working out on a regular basis it's like you just don't want to do anything so it's really difficult but your day's done huh it's your day's done what do you mean training oh yeah you still got to go on a bike ride yeah so bobby can still do his like he was doing weight training today so luke gave him this whole workout to do and the reason he's okay to do three sessions in a week is because he used to have a PT years ago. So Luke was like, you've got muscle memory, so it's going to be okay for you. Whereas I've never had a PT, as in like, you know, in the gym with me, telling me what to do, working out three times a week. So I am like, it's harder for me because he doesn't want me to do a whole weight session on a Wednesday at the moment because my body's still sore from Monday. And if I do another weight session today, I'm just going to be way too sore for Friday for him. So it's not going to be as effective. So yeah, which makes sense. And I'd rather build it up slowly, but yeah, let's go grab some lunch. Okay, I have my numbing cream on. I look like I've got some kind of mask on. My numbing cream is on. We're gonna wait for that to work. You are not gonna guess what happened. It was so cute. And I didn't, I didn't get it on camera because obviously I was not prepared for it. But I was just laying here and uh, the lovely lady was taking my makeup off and cleansing my face. I just had a bit of BB cream on. So she just like was in the middle of taking my makeup off. And then Dr. Marcy came in with a couple of other colleagues from Kaya with a cake, with a birthday cake. And it was so cute and this box full of like gifts and they had a candle on the cake and it was just so cute <laughs> i think they took some video because i saw someone in the back taking video and they were like you know we know your birthday is on the 27th of june but we're not sure if you're going to be back before that so it was the cutest thing i was like oh you guys are so nice <laughs> this is why i also love this place is because i've been coming here for so long it's just like i feel like part of the family now and I genuinely had not even mentioned my birthday, so that's just really cute. I feel like they've gone, you know, above and beyond. It's really nice. And it made me smile today. It made me happy. So that was really sweet. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get hold of some of that footage and maybe just add it. Because you can see, you can see on my face, I'm just like, what, what, what is going on? Like, I've got this like bandana on and my makeup's been taken off. It was so funny. But yeah, it was really cute. And yeah anyway i have got this numbing cream on i'm gonna wait for this to kind of like finish doing its little thing and then i'm gonna get my botox done which i'm really excited about and yeah i think that's about it for the day mm -hmm.